This here is the newest addition to the clan, Lucas and his lovely mother, Nina. Thank you so much for my latest grandson. Mm -hmm. Lucas is only one week old, and we are going to try to do your footprints. Now, I've used Prussians before, and I know the kit is fantastic, and it gives you lots of time to get the perfect print. So we're going to try his feet. You don't want to do their hands till they're at least two years old, because they're just going to want to grab at it. Could you hold him while I prepare the kit? The kit's called Prussians. And it has everything in the box that you need to make the perfect print. Plaster, sand, and instructions, and a solid wood frame made in Canada. You don't find that much anymore. No, you don't. You start by taking the backboard and putting it on the front of the frame and attaching it with the elastics that come in the instruction kit. I'll we'll get this right on. There's also a spreading board included in there for us to spread the sand out. So I'm going to just secure the backboard in place on the front with the elastics. And there, you have like a shadow box container in which we will pour the sand into. It's sand, so it's quite safe for baby. And all we're doing is putting his feet in the sand to make a print. If it doesn't work the first time, we can rearrange the sand and take as many tries as you like. There's never any rush with pressions. And remember, it's a keepsake that you're going to treasure forever. So it's worth the extra effort you're going to put into this. Just smooth out the sand, making sure it comes out to the edges. And just remove any excess with a spreading board. Already, it's nice and smooth. And so we're going to try to make um, Lucas's footprint. Okay, now he's well fed and content. He sure so is. hopefully, we're just going to put the foot down in the sand. Okay, there. Can Nina, can you just push his foot in there? Sure. And there we go. Buddy. Up and down. Whoa! Now a little bit of sand fell in the base of his foot, but that's all right. We're going to remove that with either a wet Q-tip when we're finished because Perfect. the toes are great. Everything's good. Perfect print. Thanks, Lucas. Good job, Lucas. Let's try to get his other so one. We're gonna get the other guy. Um, I don't quite have a hold on his foot. Oh, do you want to get the other side? Yeah. Of him? That's better. Perfect. Wonderful. There we go. Come, Bubba. Oh. Okay, he moved that one a bit, but that's okay. Here, Nina, can you take yeah, that? Yes, sure can. Just calm. Keep him calm and happy. As long as the baby's happy, you just keep trying. So the one print is really, really great. The second one I'm going to redo because I want it to be perfect. It's going to be around a long time. When he's 16 years old, these prints are going to look pretty tiny. So there we go. I've just added some more sand, moved it around and smoothed it out, making sure there's no line between the two footprints. Perfect. Okay, do you want to hold them and I can try? Sure. Okay, if you can just tilt them forward. Oh, there's perfect. Perfect. Thank you, Lucas. Up and in. Oh, perfect. perfect. Good job. Lucas. I don't know if you can see them, but they are excellent. The only little thing we had was like I told you in the beginning. So this is a wet Q-tip. And I'm just going to dab it to where the extra excess sand fell in, and it picks it up on the Q-tip. So we'll just remove the excess sand, and then sand, and then we'll be ready to pour the plaster. Good job, Lucas. Oh, well, Lucas, I think you'll like these. What do you think, Mom? Is that perfect? They are gorgeous. You want to get it deep enough so when the plaster pours, it falls into the creases, and later when we reveal the final print, that we have a nice raised print. You'll see a raised print on the opposite side. And I think we're all set to go. Wonderful. Okay, so now we take the plaster and you mix it with one cup of cold water. Ensure that you have a full cup of water, cold water. A couple of spoons extra won't hurt. So I'm going to put the water in the bowl first. And then we'll just pour the plaster in. It's wonderful. You're going to stir the plaster for about one minute to make sure there's no bumps. Now this went relatively easy. Sometimes it takes a little bit longer to get the perfect print. But like I said, it's worth it. Do you see anything else that I need to no, adjust? No, it looks anything? wonderful. Okay. So stir it up. It's cute. It? Yeah. Thanks, Lucas. Thanks. I he doesn't mind at all. Because it's sand, it doesn't hurt him or bother him. And you just brush it off his feet when you're finished. When I pour, I'm going to start in an outside corner, pour it over top of the whole print, and then we'll let it dry for an hour. 
You can leave it overnight if you'd like, and it will leave a little bit more sand on it. If the finish is more important that you want more sand, just leave it overnight. It won't hurt either. Okay, so there's the consistency. Starting at one corner, we're just going to move the bowl over. And you can smooth it out with the back of the spoon, or the spreading board, or a spatula. Whatever works for you. The only thing you want to ensure is that the print is perfect before you pour it. So keep trying until you get that perfect print. Now, we wait one hour and it's done. I think that was pretty easy for a brand newborn baby. What do you think? <laughs> Remember, Pressions made in Canada. Thanks for watching, and I'll get back to you with the finished print in an hour. Waited an hour, and now we're going to see what um, his footprints look like. Lucas. <laughs> Okay, it's the 10th grandchild. I have a hard time keeping track of nails. He's new. I'll get used to it. Here's the sand. We're just going to pull the sand off. And it will reveal a raised print of Lucas's feet. After it dries, like tomorrow, the sand will come off easier. You can use a little whisk to wipe it off. You want some sand to stay on it. The backboard gets put back in the back, turning the little keys to put in place. Okay, Nina, come see this. What do you think? Oh my gosh! <laughs> They're beautiful! You can count all his little toes and Look he's one that. week old. How easy was that? Super easy. Super beautiful. We're going to have these prints forever. You can hang them in his little room so he can look at them. Precious. It's got to be the best. It is the best. Thank you, Nana. Thanks for watching, guys.